we have to, we be, have to prepared be prepared emotionally because we all we know, know we are, we are gonna, gonna leave home, home. Welcome back to my channel. By the way, my name is Grace and I'm in I living in the UK. My YouTube channel is all about my experiences here in the United Kingdom. So please, if you want to keep yourself in the loop, just uh, subscribe to my channel and then please give this video a thumbs up and also click that bell notification para kayo ay ma-update if I upload a new video. So, if you're new to my channel, welcome! So, my topic for today, guys, is how to be successful in finding a job in the UK for the direct hire. And also for those aspiring um, fellow Filipinos, who wants to come here as a nurse or maybe in a different field of work so how are you going to be able to be successful in your application and for you to be able to come here and work in the United Kingdom so for this topic guys disclaimer only I'm just basing all of what I'm gonna share with you based on my experiences and um, you know I'm not expert of, of this but uh, through my experience I would like to share with you um, kung how is it how was it pan uh, ako naging successful sa pag-apply dito sa United Kingdom all right so nabanggit ko na to mostly sa previous video ko if you watched it um, yung success story. So, most of the this na tackle ko na. So, um, magdadagdag lang ako ng kaonte. So, number one, you should have the desire to come here. So, if you want to go to America, if you want to go to Australia, if you want to go to New Zealand, if you want to go to Canada, so obviously, you should have the desire to go out of the country para kayo ay makapunta sa ibang bansa like here in the United Kingdom. So, kailangan meron yun sa, bukal yun sa puso nyo. Okay? Um, you should um, you should be willing to come out of your comfort zone. Kasi guys, if you come in here in abroad, iba talaga yung life. Um, kung hindi ka mag-prepare, kung hindi mo pre-prepare yung sarili mo coming here, it's so difficult. So, um, kailangan ready ka to come here. Yun. Okay? And also, if you're willing to widen your horizon, dapat meron ka nung desire to come out of your comfort zone. Diba? And also, some people, they're drive is to earn more money for their family and for their future. So, which most of us naman, yun yung main reason, di ba? To, uh, kung bakit tayo umaalis ng bansa is to actually earn more than what we are earning back home. But we have to be ready for whatever challenges that we're gonna face. So, one important factor yun. You, you just don't come here to work. You have to prepare yourself 100%. Alright? So, you should prepare yourself mentally. So, kailangan syempre mag-aral-aral din tayo. Lalo na yung English. Yun yung language na ginagamit most of everywhere. To communicate. Diba? How are we gonna perform our work if we're, we're not a good communicator? And also, physically. So, you all know guys, we all undergo through medical exams. So, we should be healthy. Diba? 
ba? Um, if we come here, they want healthy people to employ. So we have to prepare ourselves physically. We have to be healthy when we come here. All right. And also emotionally, we have to be prepared emotionally because we all know we are going to leave home and most likely we're going to leave our family, our parents, which in my case, I left my mom and my dad. Um, so we have to prepare ourselves emotionally. So you have to, if you are still in the Philippines and you're trying to come here in the UK or anywhere in the world you have to to set yourself in that position that one day if you are here you'll be on your own okay so um, you will be doing everything on your own no one will be there to support you no one will be there to you know to prepare for food for you voila as in so if you are willing to go out of your comfort zone or to go out of the country, you have to prepare yourself emotionally. Alright? And also, one more factor is you have to prepare financially. Kasi hindi mura ang mababayaran. If you go out of the country, um, maraming factors yan. So if you are applying for um, a job through agency, then you would actually, I think you'll pay the agency for helping you with everything that they do for you. But if you're hired, if you are applying like what I did, like um, direct hired, obviously you still need money, certain amount of money to pay for all the things that you need to do like for example uh, like me in my case i had to I, i'll tackle this later i have to apply um, for my visa i paid for that i have to uh, to uh, um, go to a review center for my english uh, proficiency i have to have to undergo tests uh, like my TB test or um, UK requirement na tuberculosis test. So yung mga yun, lahat babayaran mo. So again, hindi ka lang kailangan dapat physically, mentally, emotionally prepared but you should also be prepared financially. Alright? So, second um, requirement for you to be successful in finding a job abroad is qualification so nabanggit ko na to guys dun sa aking previous vlog if you go back and i'll put the link below yung aking success story importante that you have qualification so you don't just go abroad um na out of may mga tao na after after in school nila university they come, they go to the, to, they go and work abroad, but they start from scratch. But if you acquire your qualification, um, then you get a better job. You land into a better um, work, or maybe a better pay. So, bago kayo mag decide, you should, um, you should have the qualification. So, ano ba yung mga yon? Your degree. Okay. Because in reality, here in abroad, it's so the competition is high, so you should make yourself stand out. All right, um, here at the international arena, everyone, like for example, applying a job here in the UK, you know, there are lots of people who want to come here because of certain uh, reasons. Um, and life here in the UK is way a lot better than anywhere else in the country. So, how are you gonna be um, stand out in the group who applied for a certain job if you don't have the qualification? So, mostly they would like to see um, a bachelor's degree 
but it's better if you have master's degree and definitely the best if you have you know um, doctor's degree or in philosophy doctors in philosophy all right so everywhere naman yan, that's a basic um, fact or truth they want people who has qualifications and also to see how competent you are in your job and and uh, connected to that is your experience diba? so here in the UK um, they want skilled worker so actually Brexit is um, if you heard about Brexit uh, a brief fact about Brexit is United Kingdom is trying to uh, separate the nation to European Union in an aspect that we want to have our control in everything like the economy um, you know, immigration um, well I'm not expert with I have I actually don't have that good knowledge in Brexit I'm one of the changes that they're doing now with Brexit is immigration. Okay. So I read an article about immigration that um, the country wants to invite more immigrants who are skilled workers. Okay, They prioritize the skilled workers now because of Brexit. All right? So there are changes going on nowadays. Uh, but still ongoing issue and it's not yet resolved up to now so anyway we'll leave that later on for a different vlog um i'll give because there's what they call shortage occupation list here in the united kingdom so meaning they are shortage um in those occupations and they want more people from abroad to come and fill those positions. It's more likely for you to get a job if you have experience under the shortage. Okay, so at least here, and also I'll put a link below um, to where you you can find the list. All right, um, shortage occupation list. So my job here is under occupation list and also nurses. Recently they added secondary school teachers, veterinar veterinarians um, and more. So at least down below yung mga popular naman sa Philippines. Okay? And another one is um, experience. All right. So you should have experience before you decide to come here some people they do have very short experience but i would suggest to you guys before you decide you acquire quite a lot of experience um, because when you get here most of the time they give you the autonomy to decide what to do like in my experience at work they give um, me the decision what to like not all the time, but um, to to use your own judgment, all right, in decision making. So, what are you gonna do with this patient, or what do you think is are you gonna do with the procedures, um, and also, is it worth doing the tests on this patient? You mga ganong decision, and um, if you don't have the experience, guys. It's really difficult so um, obviously your confidence is not yet honed obviously and um, if you don't have the experience you're not exposed to learning so how are you be able to uh, cope up with the pressure if you haven't done that before but if you've done it before then mabilis na lang for some na to cope up with the pressure here because you're working here you have to you have to to um, 
do the job. Already, to say they give you the um, the uh, autonomy to do what you do, you think is right or what you think you need to do. I said mostly in the Philippines, they tell us what to do, right? So, um, so Shampre, our brain is trained through that way. So if you, if you haven't experienced something before, it's difficult, alright? So you, know, you have as much as possible, get enough experience for you to be able to perform well when you get here. So in any career, that's a fact, um, you don't, don't just go in a job abroad without even single a single knowledge of what you're doing. It's a very dangerous thing to do. You can do it, I think, but it's not ideal. Because ibang bansa na yun eh. You have to know what you're doing. All right. Okay. Another thing that you need to do for you to be able to be um, to be successful in your application here in the, in abroad is. Um, some employers they want reference people all right your manager or your mostly manager and like me doctor whom i work with before all right okay let's move to the next topic so after yung discuss yung previously you desire qualifications um and also this time finding a job online if you're a direct hired you can find a job like what i did online and also if you are nurses who like would like to come to the uk i think most of them are hired through agency so the the philippines in my nagpupunta sila sa philippines to hire nurses, then they conduct um, they conduct interviews. But before that, bago sila ma interview actually is na filter na sila ng agencies. So um, so Philippines may mga agencies. But if you're direct hired, what apply yung kayo online. So in my case, if you are specialists like me like if you are occupational therapists cardiac physiologists biomedical technologists neurophysiology technologists um, i think radiologists as well are welcome here um, if you would like to apply a job on our magic medical um, profession here in the uk you apply through NHS jobs that UK. So I'll put the um, here the website and the how it looks like. So it will be here. Okay. So brief explanation lang about NHS. So. It is a government is sponsored for everyone. So, um, yung medical dito sa UK is free for everyone. Yes, ulitin ko. Free. So, bale, sa NHS ako nag-work, I'm being paid by the government. And, okay, eto. Ultimo, yung mga nasa hospital, wala silang binabayaran. Yung procedure na ginagawa namin, hindi sila nagbabayad. Yung medication, yung mga gamot, wala silang binabayaran. They don't pay for it. Ultimo, like for example, a child has eczema. Simple as lotion for their eczema or for their dry skin. They get a free emollient for that. Ganon guys dito sa United Kingdom free ang medical expenses so if you go to the hospital 
without money, that's fine. You're not gonna pay any single centavo or any single penny. Alright? That is NHS. Like, for example, you undergo heart transplant or major surgery, free. Free. But the downside of that is sometimes you have a long waiting time, you undergo triaging, you go first to a general practitioner, and then if they, if they think you need to go and see a um, specialist, then they will refer you to a specialist. So they screen first. You cannot just go jump into a neurologist. And if you want to see, to ha have your MRI done tomorrow, you can't do that. You have to wait. Yun lang. But then it's all free. Alright? So, yun yung kagandahan nito sa UK. Free ang medical um, expenses mo. You don't pay. Anyway, let's move. Yun lang yung brief. Um, brief explanation kung ano yung NHS. So, nabanggit ko yun previously kung paano kayo mag-apply doon. You just create an account and then fill the inform your information that will serve as your resume. And also, doon na rin kayo maghahanap ng job. So, NHS jobs that you get. Alright? So, if you are applying for a cardiac specialist, search for a cardiac specialist. By the way, guys, gusto ko lang i-mention, if you want to apply for a direct hire and you follow these steps, you have to make sure that what you are applying um, indicates that they are willing to sponsor a person from outside the country. Um, meron dun lalagay ko dito, kakat out ko dito yung sample nun, nung sasabi nila for them to be able to check for the jobs that are able to sponsor you coming to the United Kingdom. So you have to check the advert, which I'm gonna cut a sample here. Um, I'm going to put a um, sample here. Kung ano yung sasabihin nila if they want to entertain an overseas ap um, applicant. Alright? So, ito yung sample niya. Through that, most likely, they will do a video uh, interview with you. And hopefully, you'll be successful. I've... I, I know quite a lot of people who undergone the same process like me and they were very successful. So you just have to keep trying and you just have to uh, be, be very patient in what you do. Look for the job that fits your skills. I would recommend 80 to 90% because in the advert they will tell you what are they looking for. What skills you should have? How long have you been doing the job? So for those um, skills that ha that was listed that is listed in the advert, you should at least meet eighty to hundred percent of those skills for you to have a good chance to be considered for an interview. Okay, so you just have to check para at least you would know where you stand. So if you think you've met all the hundred percent of the qualific or the qualification and requirements of that job, then most likely you'll get um, interviewed and hopefully you get the job. All right. Dun sa paggawa ng CV, I would suggest that you ask someone you know who are good in English and check the grammar and check the spelling and check how you compose your your information that is a reflection of yourself dun sa mga employers so how are you going to be able to catch their attention it's through a good well written resume okay so i would suggest some you would ask someone to check your 
your um, resume all right and see if there's any changes that needs to be um, done all right so para maganda yung ating resume kasi yun yung pambungan natin okay and then while you do you wait for a chance of an interview so let's say you've already applied online nakapag bigay ka na ng iyong mga resume well i would i would suggest na you carry on with your job okay wag ka mo na magre-resign kung wala pa yung visa at saka especially kung wala pa yung exit clearance mo i would suggest from PUA um, because most of the time Sure, um, most of the time, madami pa yung pagdadaanin yung papers mo. Um, so, carry on building your experiences while waiting for an, a chance to be interviewed. I, and also, meron akong na-realize na hindi ko nagawa when I was back home because I have no idea at all. So, dito kasi, most of the time, like, they have their portfolio. What is portfolio? So those are the um, parang compiled compilation ng mga activities mo or yung mga uh, um, activities or skills na nagawa mo. So might as well make a portfolio for you. So ngayon umuuso na sa Philippines yung CPD. All right. So, if I were you, carry on with that because that would help you when you get here. Because you can make a portfolio again on how you acquired your training. So, obviously, you have to start from the start, from the Philippines. So, if you don't have the information, na yon, how, how would you be able to, to present to them that yeah, I've done those those skills before so though you can show it to them like for example you attended a lecture somewhere um sa philippines then have the certificate and then write something about it and mga natutunan mo to si compile mo lang siya Kanyari, you've acquired a new skills you handled a new machine ganon um, or you 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 just write something about it na ganito yung experience ko reflection reflective um reflective cpd like what they say so you just write something about it anong nangyari that day kailan nangyari saan nangyari and also if you get someone na mag sign yun para sa just just for a witness that would be great kunyari kunyari manager mo ganun so pasayin mo lang yun sa kanya kasi Wala lang, sabihin mo lang, gusto ko lang meron akong something for my CPD portfolio. Yun, yun yung wala ako when I get here na sana pala I've done it before. But obviously, lack of information is the reason why. So, if I only, if only I knew it before, then I should have done it. But um, obviously, here I'm doing it. Anything na bago na natutunan ko, I just log it in my CPD and I compile them, or I compile everything. If I take a new role at work, um, like for example, my new role is infection control link professional for the entire department, and I coordinate with the whole the infection control team in behalf of our department. So, like mga ganon, we log it in our portfolio. So. Yun lang guys, yung mga tips ko sa inyo kung para magkaroon kayo ng bigger chance to be successful sa pag apply nyo abroad. And um, yun, lagi nyo lang tatandaan na always fight for your dreams. Okay? Huwag kayong susuko kasi we have all our own time to shine. Yun, tsaka keep, keep going, keep fighting. And I'm advocating to live your life, to love, and to love. Okay? So again, guys, thank you for watching. And see you again next time. Bye-bye.
please check my other videos in my YouTube channel by clicking the screen here.